traveler told me my feet look like they were barking back. Y'all, my husband is shady. But anyways, I said, how are you going to tell me my feet look like they barking back? You going to pay for my pedicure? guys so I am back I was gonna do a video last week however my camera's been acting really really weird I think I'm either gonna have to get it fixed or get a new one so yeah that's a whole nother issue but I am going to vlog today I'll probably vlog this whole weekend because I do have a lot of things going on besides my normal wear and tear so you guys will see that so don't forget to check me out on ig at shanique martinez and then my business ig at nicole's place underscore underscore so you guys that's literally what i've been doing that's why i've been gone for so long i've literally been focusing on the business and doing cool resin art type things because i found a passion for that so that's honestly what i've been doing besides working you guys i'm tired okay so today I have to go to UPS. Also, we're going out to dinner for a girl's dinner. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I just washed my hair. Sunday I'm also going to record a deep conditioning routine because I didn't deep condition routine my hair today. But I wanted to show you guys my updated one on camera. So I'm going to be doing that Sunday. But this is my hair after it's washed. You guys, I've been absolutely loving this wash day delight filming anyways so i've been loving this wash day delight carol's daughter love at first sight water to foam shampoo you guys it's 10.99 for 16.9 fluid ounces this is a lot of shampoo i think i've literally had this for more than like three months almost so i'm in love with this shampoo so as y'all can see, my hair does come out pretty defined. I like it. It doesn't give it a lot of moisture, I will say that. However, it cleans, 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 which that is what I'm in love with. So I'm just here for that shampoo. So anyways, I've been using this pretty much weekly and then doing my deep conditioner and stuff like that so is besides that I've also been trying out this eye cream from Clinique I don't really know if I care for it enough because I haven't really seen a difference in my eyes and trust me I've been using this for more than 30 days so I'm kind of like maybe I should move on to an under eye cream so you guys if y'all have an under eye cream in the comment section definitely sound off in the comment section give me a suggestion also give me a suggestion on a new cleanser I have dry sensitive skin some of the cleansers that I am normally used to using or my go-to ones they're just not working anymore I don't know if it's because my skin is now filling the 30s or what y'all i really really don't know so and then i've been trying to clear up some of my dark heads up here i was using the clinique vitamin c serum and i will say that did do a pretty good job I'm not even going to lie because my forehead was trash beforehand. So, I'm not going to say it didn't do anything, but I just need an extra oomph for the remaining like spots that are just stubborn and don't want to go away. I'm thinking about just getting a prescribed retinol. Honestly, from the dermatologist because I feel like that's probably going to be the most beneficial. Um, but if y'all have any suggestions on that too, sound off in the comment section. Because I'm kind of in limbo when it comes to skincare routines. Just based off of the fact that all the oldies are not working anymore. It's driving me insane. But I am still loving this Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hours. 
um, what is it called? Moisturizer. It's still my go-to. I don't think that's going to change. Well, I hope it's not going to change. <laughs> but I'm still loving this one. I still love Clinique's moisturizers. Like, their moisturizers are still doing it for me. I also need to go pick up my contact lenses. They sent me home with, you know, you get your little tester ones. And so I bought a year supply. So that's honestly what I'm waiting for. And they text me, I want to say Tuesday and said they were in. So I need to go pick those up, which shout out to insurance. They pretty much covered an entire year. So I was pretty happy about that. I haven't worn contacts in a really long time. I started wearing them now because my daughter likes to Okay, there we go. My daughter likes to play with my glasses and it's quite annoying. So if I don't pick those up today, I'll pick them up tomorrow. Also, you guys, I've been using this Super Defense City Block Daily Energy and Face Protectant. It is the Clinique Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I've actually been really, really liking it. I'll put that on the screen. That is one of the products I've actually been liking. I will say, though, it does leave a cast. Um, yeah, it leaves a cast. Even on my skin tone, it leaves a cast. So, if you're looking for a sunscreen that doesn't leave a cast, this ain't it. Even if you blend it in, I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting and how the camera is, but I can definitely see the cast in the um, mirror. What I like about it is it doesn't have a smell. It's not that you're atypical sunscreeny sunscreeny smell it's definitely has been protecting the vitamin c and some of the drugstore retinols i've been putting on my spots right here because i've noticed they haven't been getting darker they've either been staying the same color or getting lighter um so that's how i can tell my sunscreen for me personally is working because typically when i don't wear sunscreen and i do like retinols and stuff like that the spots get darker they get darker and then sometimes they start to peel in certain areas and I noticed that hasn't been happening. Also, you guys, another product that I have been using, it is the Heels Genius Amazing Foot Cream Soap and Glory. If you literally have not had a pedicure in quite some time, y'all go buy this it will get your heels all the way together like i'm going to get a pedicure tomorrow but when i tell y'all my feet salvador told me my feet look like they were barking back y'all my husband is shady but anyways I said, how are you going to tell me my feet look like they barking back? You going to pay for my pedicure? And anyways, so that is that. Um, but if you're interested in a foot cream, I will put a picture of that in there as well. So y'all, that's all literally I've been up to is doing a business, working and trying to stay afloat so today we're doing a girl's dinner we're going to do it at 
XOXO in Dallas. So I'm kind of excited, but I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard that it's good, heard that it's not good, you know, so we will see. I feel like everybody always has like a lot of opinions about things like this. And not to say that there's wrong, everybody's experience is different, but you never know. Also, you guys, I want to show y'all my new nightstands. So I picked up some new nightstands and they're quite cute. So let me show y'all these nightstands. Hold on. And um, yeah, I'm definitely playing Russian roulette with these nightstands, but I absolutely love them. I need to find lamps to put on top of them. And my husband's side of the bed is always, always chaotic. Like, always. Always. <laughs> I literally didn't even want to put nightstands on his side. But he was like, I need to place, uh, whatever. Um, but anyways, his side of the bed is always chaotic. But look at these nightstands. Look how gorgeous they are. So these are the nightstands. I picked them up from Nebraska Furniture Mart. Super, super cute. Of course, my daughter loves them too. And, and I need to find some lamps for that. I've seen some on Amazon. I feel like lamps are so expensive. Like just for two, even just for one sometimes. So I saw some set of lamps that I actually liked. However, whew. anyways, like I was saying, I've ordered, I saw a ton from Amazon, so, and other places, and they're just, the prices are hitting different. So you guys, I'm trying to do, okay, so y'all, I'm trying to do shakes so I can jump, start my weight loss journey, honestly. So these, let me show you guys the protein powder I bought and then let me show you this collagen protein powder I bought. Sound off in the comment section, what kind of protein powder um, for collagen do you guys use? I like the powder, I don't really like the pills. So let me know what you guys do, use or whatever to help with collagen. And honestly, if I get a good collagen powder, I can immediately tell the difference in my skin. Like my skin, it's a whole nother beast. It's a whole nother beast. So yeah, tell me in the comment section uh, what you guys like and what y'all use. So I just bought from, I purchased this from Target. It was like $17.99 for um, 462 grams. It has 21 grams of protein in it, five grams of organic powder, and it is gluten free. I don't really care about the gluten. Yeah, I get honestly probably care less about the gluten part. However, because I don't have a gluten allergen, but I did pick that one up. So hopefully y'all, I like it. Tell me if you've used that and if you like it. And then I picked up this Ray Vegan Collagen Booster. And so let me see if I can zoom in on it. Yes, so it boosts, protects your body. Um, for, it's body collagen production, a blend of vitamin C, bamboo extract, and plant collagen boosters. It's unflavored. So. I kind of prefer unflavored items because I don't want it messing with the flavor of smoothies and stuff like that because I'm really not too good at making flavored stuff. So you guys, this is what I picked up. I see Ray brand all over Target and I also see a lot of mixed reviews on it. So y'all let me know if it's any good, if you've tried it, blase blase, I don't know. So that is what I am going to use to make my shake start over. But anyways, um, 
So, I did two scoops of the protein powder, one scoop of the raised collagen boost, and then I did 12 ounces of unsweetened almond milk. It's honestly not bad. I just need a shaker because, you guys, it does not taste good. Like, it doesn't taste bad, don't get me wrong, it doesn't taste bad, but you get the lumps of the protein in it, so I definitely need that sh shaker part, or I might stick it in the blender to see, but it's not even that serious. Anyways, y'all, let's talk about Derek Jax. His last name's Jackson, but is it Jax that he's going by? Or Jackson? Is that what that's shortened for? Anyways, you guys, I've literally watched quite a few of his reaction videos because people send them in group texts, you just stumble across them on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you stumble across him on several social media platforms. And so every time I used to see these videos, one, I used to be like, okay, these, most of these, majority of these don't. like pertain to me so you know i took them with a grain of salt also i felt like in the videos he came off as condescending and kind of like a know-it-all and that's just how he came off to me in those videos and so some of the stuff i agreed with some of the stuff i didn't agree with it was just kind of like everybody's entitled to their opinion type thing so when I witnessed, you know, him just being strung over the rakes for his quote unquote scandal, I was just kind of like, you guys, come on now. Like, are you really surprised? It's 2021. A lot of these people that push out things, quote unquote things that they're like, professionals on or experts on or things of that nature first of all he was just a commentator he was just a commentator so he was just doing reaction videos like anybody can do reaction videos so it was just kind of weird to see that people were like oh you know he lied to us this that and the third but did he really he never said that he was like a true expert on anything when he first started doing them he might have said it later in his videos or later in his career but in the beginning he was simply just reacting to people's to videos and then people start sending him requests so he continued to react but i was just kind of like how do you all of a sudden make this guy like quote unquote relationship goals and half of us didn't even know he was married and then he gets on there with his wife and then people are talking about how she dresses how she looks first of all pretty much everybody wears a bonnet i've been on instagram with a bonnet on my head i don't care um and then people were like well i'm not gonna let you hold my hand and tell the world that you cheated on me no some of you guys will just get cheated on and we see it all over the place and you still stay um and, and it's just kind of like it's, it's a double standard with people like they're bashing this woman for her choices that is fulfilling to her, but won't admit their choices and things that they're putting up with. Like what she went through, I won't necessarily put up with. What I go through, she might not necessarily put up with. Like everybody's space is different, but it's sad because the relationship is now on public display because people are coming out and just doing the absolute most. And so I personally think it's just, it's insane. Like it is, it, it's sad, it's insane. It's very unnecessary and it's just foolish. So to see like all this go down and then to see people feel a certain way and then bashing this girl, and I'm just like, y'all, who cares? Like, if this is what she wants to do with her life, let her. Let her do this with her life. Like, it's her life. She wants to live it up this way. You know, it ain't none of my business. But people need to take this as a learning lesson. Stop putting people on a high pedestal that you only see 15 minutes of their day. And it's edited 15 minutes. It's not even, like, 
when they wake up in the morning until their full 24 hours. It's whatever they choose to edit out. You can edit out flaws. You can face tune. You can do all this stuff. And it's just kind of like social media wants you to be perfect. So heck, why not act like you're the perfect man? Give this advice. Give these people hope. People thinking, oh, you're this type of person. And you're really not. But that's the time we live in. A lot of people do this. So I'm not surprised or shocked by any of that. You guys look at my hand. I'm getting like real bad eczema on my hand. So I have to use Aveeno. Aveeno clears it up pretty good. But y'all, this is a mess. But I'm just kind of like, y'all, stop. Stop with the with uh, putting people to high standards because you never know they're gonna let you down and when they let you down you're gonna be big mad big mad so it's really not their fault because you don't know these people they don't know you you don't know them so stop acting like these people owe you something they owe you honesty they owe you they owe you a trustful relationship they owe you great content like a lot of these people are out here to make quick buck. A lot of these people are out here to do things that they think in their head is politically correct. Um, so there's an array of reasons why people do the things that they do. But if you don't know these people, stop acting like they owe you something. And he clearly, he, didn't, he, he, he knows his wife. He knew her for 14 years or probably longer. And he didn't owe her loyalty he didn't owe her faithfulness like he not saying he didn't owe it to her but he didn't give it to her so if he can't even give her the stuff that he said before god i'm going to do this 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 and he didn't even give it to her why would he give it to y'all why would he give it to y'all like you guys are just random joe schmo people that are giving him views giving him coins buying his books doing all this stuff y'all be for real. Anyways, that was my Derek Jackson rant. Also, what else has been up? So today I do have to go to... Where do I have to go? Y'all, mom brain is real. I have to go to the post office. Like I said, we're having girls dinner later today at XOXO. So I have to leave here pretty early so I can avoid traffic and be on time. Y'all, they want you to be on time. If you cancel your reservation, you get charged $20 per person. Like it's a, it's a whole shebang. So if you plan on going to XOXO, you better go. Anyways, so then, oh, you guys, let me show you the glasses that I purchased. Oh. So Quay had sunglasses on sale and one of them I got for BOGO the other one I actually did not get for BOGO because I bought them before BOGO so this is the pair that I bought off BOGO how cute are these so I love those and then I absolutely love these these are their high key minis and these are absolutely cute these are my favorite I love these ones but I've been rocking these a lot so I'm not huge on sunglasses but I definitely can say I love them I got these for 30 bucks because I went BOGO with somebody else and then I got these for uh, full price so we're not going to skip that but, you guys. They're 
gold but they're polarized so you can see everything in them and then they're mirrored but they're polarized so when I put it on like you see like a tint through everything so it's not like your actual color but it's like a tinted shade color polarized color so yes but I'm absolutely loving these these are the first like sunglasses that I've been overly obsessed with like I said I like the second pair but I really like these ones my face is very very round so I have to stick to bigger frames and these are a bigger frames that I absolutely love I'm probably going to end this vlog here because I have so much more content to put into other vlogs. Also, because I went on that whole Derek Jackson rant, so I don't even know how long this vlog is going to be. So I'm going to edit this, upload this today, and then you guys should see the second half of my Friday literally later. All right, see you in the next vlog.